We're standing in the Fondle Park and there's a bit of a dilemma. It's not anything that will change the world, but nevertheless, it's a bit important. Um, you see, I can't remember the name of the artist who put together this piece. And I've been sort of racking my brain. I know it's a guy, so at least that much is good. I know it's a guy. Then I've been racking my brain for artists who, who come to mind. Um, I mean, one of the first persons I had was uh, Dennis Muggins. But then when you look at this, you just know there's no way somebody called Dennis Muggins would have put this together. The lines are not Muggins lines. And uh, yeah, yeah, so, so it's definitely not him. Then you go to Cyril O'Sullivan. But this isn't a Cyril-esque piece, you know. So all these names are jumping into my head. You know, is it a Rodney? But I don't think it's a Rodney. And because of that, I suddenly started thinking about names and what names mean. You know, I'm sure we've all had friends, or not necessarily friends, but people we've met, and they say their name is X, Y, or the other. And you look at them and you think, no way, there's no way that's your name. You just, I, what, I, it just doesn't fit. And so um, the names running through my head as I try to figure out who this artist is, uh, they just keep, they're just all wrong. You know, I've got uh, an Ikenga, I've got uh, a Willy, I've got a Steve. I've got another Steve, but spelt in a different way, a very exotic way. Um, and none of those names fit the artist. Uh, I, I'm just um, baffled why, I mean, usually I know these things, but uh, I guess today is one of those days when the memory is um, gonna let me down, which is sad. And uh, so bear with me. So let's just look at it. Now, what do you see? It depends on your mood. You can see a very, very confused cow or you can see a bird that thinks it's a confused cow. Or you can see a cow that has been slapped in the face with a fish. And there are all kinds of things. So you think of who would put that together. What kind of artist would come up with ideas like that? Um, I even thought of Bugs Bunny, but you know, his work is, is well, it's celluloid, so uh, it's not him. And uh, the quest goes on. So while we sort of take a peek around this magnificent piece, anybody, anybody in Amsterdam can come to the Fondle Park and have a look at this piece that is definitely not by Cyril O'Sullivan. Um, it's by somebody. Yeah, the name is there. It's, it's like, you know, you know the name. You know the name. It's just there in your head, and you can't quite get it. Every time you sort of focus in on a name, it slips away. It's a very sneaky, like a, a spy or something. I don't know why names do that, but, but they, they, you know, you know the name, you know it, you know that you know it. Anyway, anyway, so um, we're going to go back to this uh, fine piece. We're going to close off in, uh, you know, just enjoy its the craftsmanship, enjoy the ideas in it, and uh, hopefully one of you will look at this and say, ah, oh, yeah, it's by so-and-so, you know? Sort of, uh, I don't know, Gary Roswell or something like that. But uh, the name will come to me. So on that um, artistic note, artistic note, I'm going to say goodbye. And see you next time. And, um, ah, yeah, yeah, it's Picasso. That's right, sorry, it's Pablo Picasso. He's the guy. So forget all those other people. Scrap them from your mind. Pablo Picasso's piece in the Fondle Park. Bye.